Designer Notes, Subject 98. Tudor, the sister company of Rolex, has been out Rolexing Big Sister this year with its very successful and widely lauded releases. Their seeming main focus has been on case material production. Today, the out Rolexing will be more like out Omegaing Omega. Here's what we mean. Like, comment, and subscribe for content you'd like to see next. Follow us at Instagram at Designatelier Aruba for behind the scenes content. Email us at designatelierviewer at gmail.com. Let's begin with a brief rundown of what Tudor released prior to the day. Precious materials were the initial features. The new Black Bay Yellow Gold was released with a green dial and bezel. This yellow gold case is made with 18 karat gold which brings a warm tone overall to the watch. This is offset with the darker green bezel that itself is slightly offset from the lighter green dial. They also came out with the first black base with a display case back, exhibiting the decent looking movement inside. Next was another now unconventional metal, the black base silver. The silver case on this diver has a unique incandescent look that's complemented well with the tope dial. This model also continues the exhibition case back that also brings the same question from many watch geeks out there. Is it even worth showing off a Tudor movement? Next was the fixed bezel black bay models with the return of the silver dials. This new configuration distances itself from the Rolex Explorer that was released this year by Rolex, but at the same time rides its coattails this fielder is available in three different sizes, ensuring that there is one for any wrist size. And finally, there's the Black Bay Chronograph which garnered much praise and positive response. It comes in two flavors, the Panda Dial and Reverse Panda. These two takes advantage of great dial contrast and evokes all of the softies for an affordable Paul Newman Daytona. The two configurations though, creates a distinct personality with the white dial being more visually interesting compared to the black model and its overall dial balance. Both still maintain the core DNA of the Black Bay line with its round hour markers and snowflake hands. These releases are, for the most part, great releases with enough fanfare to be called a success. But Tudor is not done. They have uh, one more thing going on, and that is the new Tudor Black Bay Ceramic. In 2021, Tudor will be releasing this regular production all-black watch. It will be available right now, and the case and dial are all done in black tone, along with the bezel and strap. This one will retail for a strong $4,725, which dramatically undercuts other all-black, all-ceramic watches out there, like the Omega Seamaster Black Black, which retails at almost twice the amount. Both are Meta certified, which is a surprising move for Tudor that no one was expecting. Another way that the Black Bay Ceramic is one-upping the Seamaster is on the loom color which comes in at a very legible white loom compared to the matte black paint used by Omega. This master chronometer has a case diameter that's a little bit more kinder to your wrist coming in at 41mm compared to 435 of the Seamaster Professional. And to sweeten the deal, Tudor throws in a complimentary strap and doubles your fun. Speaking of double, many might actually do a double take with this one, citing that we have seen this before. Many may remember that Tudor has done an all-black, all-ceramic diver before, and they're not losing their minds. Tudor did make one just two years ago. Just one. The Black Bay Ceramic One, which is uniquely produced for the only watch auction. This is not a reissue of that one-of-a-kind piece though. While the ceramic one had black minute tracks, this one has gray printing on it. The loom is also vastly different. 
Even though the case looks very similar, there is a difference. The former had an all-matte black ceramic case. This new ceramic black base spices things up by having a ton of matte finished surfaces laced with mirror polish bevels. The text is also tastefully done in gray compared to the stark black of the unique ceramic one. The one thing that's really the big deal in this new timepiece is the new movement and case which is now METAS certified. As a master chronometer, this new movement is done in black no less, has an open work treatment for its rotor and deeply textured plates. All of this is visible through the clear case back. Now this is a good reason to have a display case back. This updated caliber MT56021U has a 70 hour power reserve that makes this a weekend proof watch for good measure. This also utilizes a silicone hairspring regulated to be accurate to within 5 seconds per day while beating at 28,000 vibrations per hour. And lastly, this movement is an anti-magnetic movement with 15,000 gauss of protection which is more than whatever many of us will put the watch against for. All of these specs enables this watch to be certified by an outside institution called METAS while other certifications and tests are done on the movement outside the case, METAS does this with the movement inside the watch. It has been Omega that's spearheading the METAS certification for a long while now, but Tudor is jumping in on their market space with this new ceramic black bay. While many were anticipating a new Tudor Submariner or Pelagos for the French Navy, which Tudor recently announced, Tudor stuns everyone with a totally different approach to their latest release. Tudor continues to explore uncharted territories and aggressively pursues other markets, something that big sister Rolex is not expected to do.